Good morning, my sunflowers. Everything is really blooming now. And I'm able to scope outside, which at the moment is great because it doesn't often let me do this. But these are my rainbow chrysanthemums, which is just amazing. I just did, thought I'd do a really short scope on three little things this morning. Hi Mo. Hi Mo, look, these are the flowers. They're amazing. I'm actually able to scope outside, which is, um, I'm, I'm really shocked because I haven't been able to. Yeah, share, thanks for the hearts. Oh, these, these are great and so much nicer than my face this morning, so I don't want to, I want to show them. And, oh, oh wow, look, 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 I just want to show you this. Let's hope he stays or she stays. This is what we get every morning, it's just so great. Can you see that? Can you see that? And this is what every morning I'm like. Flower essence is soon, I'm so pleased. That the bees are just really, really, really loving these sunflowers at the moment. Um. <laughs> They're just wonderful. I'm just so so happy with this because you know bees are bees are just kind of on their way out, certainly in the UK, and and just to do anything to support them is just amazing. Um, so yeah, so yeah, throw those hearts at the bees because they need them. Um, actually, these bees have been quite drunk on. Um... <laughs> Should we visit Russia? Hey. Um, these bees have been kind of drunk on pollen over the last few days because I've just got so many, so many sunflowers growing in my courtyard. And you know, I don't have a lot of space, but what I have is, is really, is really amazing. Hi, good morning, good morning. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Hi, Michelle. Um, and just showing you off my garden, but the uh, the three little things I wanted to, to mention this morning um, are over here because. The Netherlands, yes, you are from the Netherlands, I know, fantastic. Is, let me know your name again, because I think you told me, but I know you, you come on here quite regularly. Uh, number one um, is my love cup. Uh, it's become quite uh, famous on social media this morning. <laughs> Last night I I, I did a, a class, I'll turn myself around, I did a class on um, Yoga Nidra, which I teach regularly. Up, good morning. Brought me this love cup, and um, I'd never met them before. And I just wanted to, to sort of explain that the power of social media is so strong, um, because we may not meet people, but they arrive when they do come to your face, face to face, with beautiful gifts. Um, and this lady, although she doesn't live near me. Uh, sorry, she does live near me. She hadn't been to one of my groups and she'd spoken about it quite often. And um, I met her through Facebook and last night she turned up for the first time and it's so nice to be able to put um, a face and a name together. And with that, she, she brought this, which was just um, a blessing um, and just abundance and where we are right now and moving into the growth moon in the next few days. Um, and coming from the heart center and really, really stepping into your heart and bringing your intentions out from your heart. And then of course, uh, Mo, if you're there, one of your favorites is um, my second thing. I'm talking about three little things that I love at the moment. And hi, Janet, hi, how are you doing? Is uh, lots of hearts, please, because it is, um, it seems to be the theme of love today for me. Um, the other thing is rose quartz. Um, rose quartz is, is just a divine, um, gem for anybody who um, needs their own healing and um, healing in relationships, comf compassion for themselves and for others and a huge connection, yeah I do too, huge connection to the nature kingdom. Now honestly I'm feeling quite unsteady today, had a, a bit of a weird night last night feeling quite emotional and you know the moon is, the moon is changing quickly and there's big shifts and there's a lot going on um, and I take hold of this I call it my unicorn horn <laughs> my baby unicorn horn. Um, I take hold of this um, 
oh good I've stopped driving you can talk now um, and it really centers me so I'd take this if you have a rose quartz piece and place it on your heart to take three deep breaths into your palm as you hold the rose quartz um, and it will it will actually support you what am I talking about I'm talking about the three little things I'm grateful for today and they're all based around love Okay, the next one was actually the rose quartz elixir that I make and that I've made um, and that does the very same as um, the rose quartz gem but you take it internally so it gives you a peace, real internal peace in your heart and it helps to balance and harmonise your body and mind and soul. Um, so I've been taking that this morning and that was why I was able to do a scope this morning because I thought, you know what? I don't feel in the mood for it today and I just want to sit in my in my lovely courtyard but then when I saw the flowers and the bees and everything I just wanted to really share um, what I've got going on here in this small little oasis of um, Yorkshire in the UK so I'm really really grateful for those three little things so anything you're grateful for please let me know about today on this Tuesday the 21st of July and the next moon phase will be coming up on Thursday, which we talk, talk about regularly on my scopes because we're moving through the, the moon phases and we'll be talking about the growth moon and stepping um, from the heart, stepping out from the heart um, into your intentions. Um, if you're going to ask questions on my scopes that really don't support or you know match what I talk about or you know then it's just gonna cause somebody to get blocked because um, I'm not interested in all those things and I'm sure a lot of people aren't either um, so my my job on this planet is to is to create peace and tranquility within myself and with a, and hopefully with this with love on it a rose quartz stone and a beautiful uh, flower elixir which I actually made in this space under the moonlight and everything that I create is created under the moonlight so there's a lot of effort and thought um, and elemental support that goes on so um, thank you here's my postman <laughs> thank you another gift <laughs> thank so you nice. Thanks very much. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That's the um, that's the great thing about um, about Periscope is that things just happen like that, and you know it's it's there and it's 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 at that moment in time, and the postman arrives with some beautiful fairy lights for me this morning. So there, I'm grateful for those as well. Some fairy lights for my outside for outdoors. So let me um, leave you with um, the words of Nat King Cole which is um, the greatest gift you'll ever learn is to love and be loved in return. Let me turn this round and let me show you the flowers once more. Rainbow chrysanthemum and she's been made into a, a flower elixir for balance, for balancing out the chakras. Oh, thank you for the hearts, that's fabulous. I'm sure the flowers would be really grateful for those. <laughs> and of course, the beautiful sunflowers, if you missed them earlier, we've got many, many bees attracted to these and they're all growing. And once they start to uh, die off, and they start to, they've given all their pollen out to the to the nature kingdom it also will be made into a flower elixir which i'll make for strength and growth so thank you for joining me have a great day and be grateful love